If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG here coming today with another Man 23 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get coins right now in Man 23. In case you guys didn't know, he and the channel all I do is post no money spent methods. So if you guys are looking for coins, train points, or XP, this is the place to be. Because, like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you guys have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure to leave a comment down below and that way answer comments as soon as possible. So today, like I said, we're going over some really good coin making methods today. There are tons of opportunities to make coins today with like the blitz stuff going on. And uh, today I'm going to go over three really good methods uh, that I've found so far today on how to make coins. And without spending too many coins, get started with it because I know you guys don't like the super expensive coin making methods. Uh, it's easy for you guys to do if they're a little bit cheaper. And uh, yeah, after that, I'm going to go over some general blitz tips because I think there is a little bit of confusion on this promo. Uh, and maybe some of these tips can help you maximize your uh, potential here in this promo with where the market is at. Also, I just had some leftovers, man. So, you know, the the, the stomach is a little wild. So if, you, there, if there is any random cut in this video, I had to make a state of emergency evacuation to the toilet. So if there's any random cut in the video... Uh, it just looks random. It's because I had to dip out the room real quick and had to put on like a biohazard suit and run to the bathroom. So with that being said, let's dive into this. So um, first coin making method is going to be with the all man stuff today. It's kind of like the main part of today uh, is just these all man impacts that are in the store. There are 88 overalls like all over the, the market right now. It is absolutely crazy. I'm going to throw up a quick clip on me trying to buy uh, at some point in this video. I'm, I was just trying to buy like a bunch of these 88. It was so hard. It's going to be a little bit easier now because not as many people are on the market. But you want to buy these guys for anything under 30K, really. That's kind of like the main goal here. Uh, just buying these cards for under 30K, that's kind of should be your, it should be your objective because that is kind of how we want to build these prices um, for as cheap as possible. You know, that's kind of <clears throat> that's kind of my goal here. So buying these cards for about 30K. Once we buy 12 of these cards, we're going to back out and go over to the sets. Uh, after we, we, so we just bought 12 of those cards for 30K. Uh, equaling about th uh, 300,000 coins. That's kind of that's kind of what we're aiming for here. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but 300k should be our goal for uh, completing these sets here. So if we go to all Madden in the sets, and then we're buying 12 of these uh, 88 over overall cards. Like I said, the most expensive ones that we want to do for the set are going to be Jonathan Ogden, uh, which is somewhere on here. Where where did this guy go? Uh, well, I know he's up there. But so Jonathan Ogden, you know. That's one of the guys. Mike Haynes is expensive as well. Barry's a little on the cheaper side. I would say Barry. Oh, Ogden's right in front of me. Uh, but yeah, so like like Mike Haynes, Ogden. Uh, Hester goes for quite a bit as well. Guys to avoid are like Steve Young and Erlacher. Erlacher, how do you say his name? Those are two guys I would definitely avoid. But like Hester, Haynes, um, like I said before, Ogden. Uh, even Aaron Donald is not bad as well. And Micah. Those are some of the more expensive guys, and you just want to build the most expensive set possible. Once you build that set, come over here to the auction house, and we can see right here, these cards are between anywhere between 300 and 400 k. I bought a Barry Sanders earlier for 311,000 coins. He, after that, was going for about 370, so I could have made a quick profit off that. And if you're panicking and you're thinking, well, can I make coins off these right now? Uh, just because is it already too late? Like, are the bundles already gone? Is it or is it like are not enough people opening the bundles anymore? This is still going to be a decent opportunity here to make coins. Like, I would not worry too much right now uh, because some of these cards are still fairly expensive. Like, I could still make profit off the card that I bought, uh, and that was like literally an hour and a half ago. So, don't worry, don't panic if you're late to the if you're late to the you know late to the party. Do not worry about it. Ogden is still going for 400k. You can still make profit off that set just by selling this card. And the cool thing is about the All Madden cards. They have value. They are high value cards. They are, you know, they, they're desirable. They're really good cards. So that is the first method that I would like to talk about. The second method is a method I talked about plenty of times in the past, but it has once been revived. I uh, hear today they used Quick Revive from Call of Duty Zombies. Um, if we go here, we can see at the Campus Heroes part of the game, uh, Will Shields is once again just a very profitable set. And maybe he's not right now. Earlier, he was going for 65K. He is, wow, okay, so he's down to 36. This is still fairly profitable, because if we look here, uh, we, I think we can actually still profit off this. Because if we look at the 85s or 84s, um, and we back out, we can buy these cards for like 4K uh, if we just snipe them. It's like 4,000 coins. We multiply that by 4. Then we're at 16. We have to buy, uh, yes, yeah, so we're at 16K from that now. Just make sure you're buying these guys for like 4K a piece. 
And then for these 80, 80 overall cards, we want to buy these for under uh, 2,000 coins. 2,000 coins or less. And we have to buy six of these cards. So 484s, then we have to buy six 80s for a grand total of spending like less than 30k. We can then sell Will Shields for like 36k or more. He's going for 36 right there. That is easy coins we can make. And if you don't know what set I'm talking about, I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Um, because this is still fairly profitable. If we come over here to, um, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Come over here to 86 to 87. And then Campus Heroes. I can show you guys the exact set I'm talking about and like kind of the exact requirements for each set. Uh, all these 87s are, well, Will Shields right here. So I'll just go into his name. Uh, the 84s. So we need four 84s, like I said, for a grand total of spending about 16K on these 84s in total. And then these 80s, we need to buy six of them if we spend about. 12k in total on all six of these cards for an average of 2,000 coins per card. We are spending about like 20, we're spending under 30,000 coins on this entire set, and that should be your goal. You should probably aim for about 25k, but if you can get them, you know, for anything under 30, you're still gonna make profit off selling Will Shield. So that is a card I would look at to sell. That is still a fairly profitable method right now. Uh, he might not sell super fast, but if you're looking for a quick and easy couple thousand coins, that is a great method for you. And then the final method today. It's just super simple, super easy to do. Um, it's just not a whole lot going on here. Uh, just a super, super easy set. There's not super easy set, super easy snipe, uh, which I'd recommend doing is at the 88 overalls right here. Okay, 88 overalls, and then we're gonna go back to all Madden. You can just snipe and repost these cards. There's not too much to this. This is a very basic method. This is the oldest method in the book where we just buy a card, we sell it. Super simple. Just wanna buy these cards for well under 30K. They're gonna be a little bit difficult, but you need to buy these cards for about 25K. Uh, that's why I put this one last because it's a little bit harder because this is a very competitive part of the game right now where a lot of people are on this filter. So many people are on this filter trying to buy these cards. So uh, just try to come on here, buy these cards for as cheap as you can, sell them for profit. You guys know the deal. There is a 10% tax that gets taken off. So I can buy this card here and then sell it for like 33K. This is just easy coins. Like this is so easy to do. You come on here, then we press square or X for an Xbox right here. Then we just put it up for about 33,000 coins. I would have just made about 4K, I think. Uh, if this card sells so boom right there that's all we got to do and that's how you guys can just keep flipping cards making profit you could buy these cards and hold on to them because maybe they're going to drop in price who knows uh the problem is people buy these cards fast as you can see right there so just be cautious of that that's going to happen a lot people are going to buy these cards super fast but uh yeah like it, it's it's kind of insane so uh yeah that is all i have for you guys today in terms of making coins i do want to put up one thing right now uh where i want to talk about the blitz promo don't think you have to spend like all your coins in one day or two days uh, just have a plan to finish out the cards you need to buy and what players you want for your team by the end of the promo because uh, I've already opened two bundles I think at the at the end of the blitz promo I'm gonna put together a video of all the bundles I open and then we're gonna you know do like a pack opening uh, kind of like compilation of all the packs that I open throughout this promo one of the rare times I'll be spending money on this uh, game in general so you guys can see that first pack opening on the channel but um, yeah, like just just don't think you have to spend all your coins in one day spend all your coins You know just trying to build your team overnight, whatever Take it as as long as the promo is gonna let you buy your cards because that is when the, the, the Markets can be at its cheapest when these certain promo based cards are in the store For example, the all Madden cards are in the store right now Which means the all Madden cards on the market will be at their cheapest I think tomorrow there is a legends bundle and a harvest bundle which means the legends cards and harvest cards will be at their cheapest. So like, for example, I'm looking to pick up Lawrence Taylor, Rainy Moss, and Robert Griffin tomorrow, RG3 tomorrow, which means I'm going to come out of the market tomorrow and just try to pick up all three of those cards when these guys are at their absolute cheapest because that just makes the most sense. They're gonna be in the store, more of those cards are getting pulled, and that means more cards in the market, which means these cards are cheaper. So I'm gonna wanna buy these cards when they're cheaper. So just kind of have it planned out. Whenever you see the certain cards in the store offers that get unlocked, uh, that's kind of going to be the time frame where you want to buy the cards for your team off the market. So that's kind of how you want to synchronize this promo, how to work through this promo, and uh, just try to be as effective as possible in this promo. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll talk to you later. Stay safe for me. Peace out.